नाजरीन कश्मीर लाइफ के इस लाइव सेशन में आपका खैर मकदम है उम्मीद है आप सब खैर वाफियत से होगे जैसा कि आप सब जानते हैं कि इन लाइव सेशन में हम मुख्तलिफ मेहमान को दावत देते हैं जिनसे हम मुख्तलि सवाल पूछते हैं मुख्तलिफ इशूज़ के बारे में बात करते हैं लेकिन आज जो मेहमान हमारे साथ मौजूद है उन्होंने पूरे जम्मू और कश्मीर यूनियन टेरिटरी को दिवाली से पहले ही दिवाली का मौका दे दिया एंड ही समबड़ी हुआ इज रियली मेड ऑल ऑफ अस वेरी वेरी प्राउड एंड इफ आई वॉन्ट टेक मच ऑफ टाइम एंड आई विल लव टू इंट्रोड्यूस तनमय गुप्त dressed uh, uh, with uh, 700 uh, uh, he has secured 720 out of 720 and uh, has secured rank 1 tanme it's great to to be with you i welcome you uh, to the kashmir life and thank you for joining us thank you sir thank you uh tanme just tell me like uh, what does it really take to get this 720 out of 720 like uh, is it uh, does it take a different uh, human being does it take a different uh, <laughs> mind what does it really take yaar no sir uh, scoring this uh, doesn't require any different mind any different human being uh, it mm-hmm. just requires a knowledge of the exam how you have to study and how much you have to study and mm-hmm. mm, all the support of everyone uh, that's behind you your parents your friends your teachers so that's all what it takes it takes your dedication it takes your consistency and that's it before we begin just let uh, me tell you what's your message to all those who have not been able to qualify there are around you competed with around 16 lakh uh, students if i'm not wrong it's all across the country and uh, uh, what's your message to all of those uh, who were not able to qualify so first of all to them uh, please stay calm and don't be depressed in any sense so uh, the thing is now you had uh, you have to prepare it for uh, for this exam again and it will be again in 6 7 months so you have time to better yourself so uh, the thing you should do now is that focus on ncert bio and chemistry always come from ncert the more you read ncert the better you will do keep daily goals set a goal in the morning that i have to complete this by evening mm mm-hmm. uh, so uh, keep realistic goals study and practice the test give the mock test and i think that will be enough and you will uh, and you will do great next time fine so your message to them is that don't lose heart uh, stay focused remain uh, uh, concentrated and uh, dedicated to your goal yes sir fine so uh, before we come again to your uh, preparation before we again come to, this was your first attempt right yes sir oh great uh, i would like to know about your background like uh, uh, where did you got your initial education and uh, what about your 10th class exams 12th class exams and uh, what was this was this uh, had you really been have you, had you prepared yourself initially like i'm going to Uh, go for this and i'm going to you know, top and and all that is it like uh, initial you have that initial clarity in it or it just happens uh, so sir uh, my initial schooling till 10th class uh, mm-hmm. was in jammu only it, uh, i was at kc public school here mm-hmm. after 10th class for higher studies 11th and 12th i went to delhi i joined dps mm-hmm. akipuram there and coaching also was there only uh, so uh, 10th board exam went well so it was decided that i go to delhi there and the only i gave the 12th exam and the neat paper mhm and uh, what about uh, your 10th class i heard you had scored 10th or 12th you had scored uh, 100 out of 100 even there but does uh, uh, topping or does uh, uh, grades matter Uh, are they the major of intelligence so actually uh, it's how you perceive the grades uh, mm-hmm. if uh, you, you get uh, yeah so the thing is if you get good marks uh, you should get motivated by them now i have to score even better or have to concentrate and keep getting good marks if you okay. score uh, low marks uh, your perspective should be that yes this time uh, i couldn't score high but next time i uh, i would prepare better and next time no one can stop me from getting better 
Mm-hmm. Fine. So uh, it was after your tenth, uh, twelfth. Uh, when did you actually uh, set your goal for uh, NEET exams? Not you may not have thought of topping, but at least you would have said like, no, I'm going to crack it. So when was mm-hmm. it you had started uh, setting goal for yourself? Was it from the very class uh, ninth, tenth, or uh, after uh, choosing your subjects in tenth? Uh, uh, actually the need preparation started after the 10th class in the initial of 11th class so mm-hmm. no i didn't think about topping the paper uh, i just thought that i had to get into a good government medical college and mm-hmm. uh, do my best in the paper okay fine uh, what about uh, what were the initial days of preparation like how did you really prepare like uh, which books how many hours did you dedicate to it and uh, what about the coaching all the processes which a student goes through during this exam phase almost 2 3 years uh, yes sir because so, i have seen many students who go to expensive to, uh, coaching institutions or uh, in fact go for self studies but uh, very few are able to make it what is that that it takes to uh, just make it to these exams so first of all you should remember that uh, this exam you have to study for approximately 2 and a half years Mm-hmm. so for two and a half years you have to maintain your consistency and mm-hmm. this consistency can be maintained only if you keep yourself happy and that can be through any kind of stress busters that you like you um, you may like playing games you may like talking to your friends family anything can be a stress buster so mm-hmm. if you like to watch movie uh, you should keep a particular time of the day that yes this time i would watch it so that uh, my stress gets relieved so apart mm-hmm. from studies these extra curricular or these hobbies are very important mm-hmm. uh, for someone to keep their momentum throughout in these two and a half years mm-hmm. so there is a play of this motivation and reward and all this uh, system going on mm-hmm. so that you keep going on with your exam but what about your books especially books and uh, a number of hours because many students think that if we will do we have to really uh, sit for 10 hours 15 hours 24 hours do we have to lock the uh, rooms uh, do we have to close the windows and sit with the exams and totally focus on this exam is it that hard no no actually not so uh, the books i referred uh, in chemistry and bio uh, i mm. used to stick to ncert only because nothing is being asked out outside ncert and mm. uh, neat mm. so mm. bio was complete ncert complete was, uh, chemistry was ncert and the topics which i couldn't understand i used to look at I looked them up mm-hmm. in some reference book. It mm-hmm. was not something specific. Mm-hmm. So physics, uh, uh, I read NCERT in a different way. Mm-hmm. Uh, I used to read um, all the information of the graphs in physics, all the information of the diagrams given in physics, and points to ponder is given at the end of the uh, end of each chapter in physics. So that mm-hmm. I used to read in physics NCERT. Apart from that, I used to refer to my notes mm-hmm. and do as much questions as I can in physics. Okay, fine. So you use it to pre- you use it to practice a lot of uh, previous year question papers also. Yeah, previous year question papers. All these were done uh, in the last four five months. Okay, fine. Um, the... uh, what mm-hmm. what about the number of hours dedicated every day for your preparation? So uh, I used to set up daily goals. Like I said, in the morning I used to uh, decide that this chapter I have to do today. And mm-hmm. approximation, if I give you, then it would be around four five hours on a school day. And mm-hmm. um, when it was off, I used to study about uh, eight hours a day. Okay, fine. So that so depends are... upon mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. that yep. that depends upon the person uh, mm-hmm. how much efficiency he can take out of a day. So mm-hmm. studying for long hours, fifteen hours, not uh, not necessary because sometimes you study for fifteen, but your efficiency is over after eight or after five. Mm-hmm. so you have to uh, check how much time your efficiency is there and uh, you should make up a time table uh, mm-hmm. uh, accordingly okay fine so what about uh, that moment or any of these moments uh, when you said oh it's getting over my head i just want to give up because these moments do come when you are uh, when you are thrown into that kind of a routine in jisme aapko har din पढ़ना पड़ता है देन ऑफ कोर्स देयर विल बी ब्रेक्स बट कभी ना कभी तो वो आ जाता है डिमोटिवेट हो जाता है इंसान तब क्या एवर थॉट ऑफ लाइक गिविंग अप और जस्ट थिंकिंग के लाइक इज इट अ राइट चॉइस एक्चुअली आई डिडंट थिंक ऑफ गिविंग अप बिकॉज़ आई हैड एन एम इन माइंड एंड आई न्यू दैट आई वाज गोइंग टू डू गो फॉर दिस बट यस द लो स्पेल्स डू कम व्हेन यू थिंक व्हेन यू आर टोटली डिमोटिवेटेड यार अब और नहीं हो रहा 
so that when was the time yeah. when was that moment when at that moment that the first out. time the first time i think that happened uh, near the final exams of 11th class Mm-hmm. so uh, the school works at a different pace the coaching works at a different pace and you have mm-hmm. to cope up with both mm-hmm. so that time i think was the first time but uh, when you have the support of the parents your friends teachers everything works out mm-hmm. fine so you have uh, the, uh, the support of your parents you have the support of your teachers and uh, you also had the resources available at your disposal but uh, what about uh, some of the distractions you had that internal clarity aapke andar wo clarity thi ki nahi mujhe to karna hai ye goal iske to jana hai mujhe bhai but what about that external distractions jo aa jati hai like uh, social media that is the biggest distraction or uh, games i have seen with uh, students especially these days because they are not able to take off themselves off the screens how do you really see the social media uh, i i think i have your number but uh, it was uh, inaccessible uh, you are not on any social media platform or are you on any social media platform have you been on any of them mm-hmm. i'm not active on them but yes i think i am on instagram and twitter mm-hmm. so you were uh, very very active about them uh, like no, yeah, actually i downloaded them actually mm-hmm. i downloaded them after the exam so mm-hmm. no uh, they didn't distract me but uh, for those who do use it uh, mm-hmm. i think it's not a problem of using them but it's mm-hmm. a problem when you use them excessively so mm-hmm. if you like using them you uh, set uh, half an hour or one hour whatever you get of the time table that yes in this time i will do this so if mm-hmm. you do this according to a particular schedule then i don't think it would uh, it would be a distraction anymore mm-hmm. it will be like any other activity any other activity like studying you have to do half an hour social media okay or fine whatever mm-hmm. time you can take out but do you consider it as a distraction for students? no for some for some student might be uh, a blessing in disguise like okay. uh, they might get refreshed after seeing so- social media so i don't think it should be completely uh, kind of abolished during the exams okay fine and uh, what about uh, uh, if we are, we are talking about social media we're talking about uh, were you like i've seen many of the students playing those games for many hours for hours on end how how did it really uh, uh, played out with you like were you into such gaming stuff or you were totally focused on your studies like i have to do this and that uh, i was not into the mobile games or uh, playstation kind of things but uh, i used to play outdoor games i used to go out for swimming in 11th standard Okay. in 12th um, because of the pandemic we couldn't go out and so mm-hmm. i shifted my attention to a little bit of television oh great uh, fine uh, couch potato but what about this uh, pandemic how did pandemic played with your uh, education like uh, everybody was we were all like uh, uh, forced to go into the online mode of education which were we were not at least uh, used to then uh, how did it really played out with you with your exams yeah, in the initial in the initial initial day it was uh, very difficult because um, the screen time increased massively it used to be around 10 hours mm-hmm. a day but i think mm-hmm. uh, mm, you cope up with these things as they move on you have to cope up and you do cope up mm-hmm. so, so that's, ultimately uh, you adapted yourself to it uh, yes Mm. and what about internet was internet always available to you uh, um, yes internet was available but yes some glitches always occurred uh, mm. internet shut down or light mm. went out so these mm. kind of trouble were always there uh, and then you have the friends mm. who can give their notes to you if you miss some uh, mm-hmm. lesson or some uh, class like that fine Uh, what about uh, like many students again will be interested in asking you like uh, what are the kind of books we should go for what are the kind of uh, uh, material we should go should we go into so much of inter- material that is available on the internet itna material hai internet pe available hum pura uh, sari reference se check karte hai ya sari kitabe check karte hai fir bhi nahi ho pata hai nahi ho pata uska reason ye ho sakta hai ki aap sara kuch check karte hain तो आपको hmm. चेक कुछ भी नहीं करना है आपको केमिस्ट्री और बायो में तो एन के बाहर जाना ही नहीं है पूछा ही नहीं जाता hmm. तो जाना क्यों है क्वेश्चन hmm. आप कर सकते हैं कोई भी आपको अच्छा सोर्स hmm. लगता है वहाँ से आप क्वेश्चन प्रैक्टिस कर सकते हैं फिजिक्स में आपके नोट्स आपके पास होंगे एन आपके पास है 
तो वहीं से पढ़ो टीचर्स से डाउट्स पूछ लो फिजिक्स मेन क्वेश्चन बेस्ड है तो जितने आप न्यूमेरिकल सॉल्व करोगे जितने आप प्रैक्टिस करोगे फिजिक्स की वो उतनी बेटर होती रहेगी ज्यादा सोर्सेज को रेफर करने से कुछ नहीं होगा सॉरी टू इंटरप्ट यू बट व्हाट इज द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ प्रैक्टिस इन दीस एग्जाम्स ऑब्जेक्टिव बेस्ड एग्जाम्स सो एक्चुअली दीस आर टाइम बाउंड एग्जाम्स सो यू हैव टू फिनिश द एग्जाम इन 3 इयर्स सो यू नीड टू नो दैट व्हाट पेस यू हैव इन बायो व्हाट पेस इन केमिस्ट्री व्हाट पेस इन फिजिक्स so that accordingly you can give time to each subject during the paper so mm-hmm. the, uh, the more you have the practice the more you have the idea of the questions like in physics um, you practice a single type of question uh, a hundred question can be framed of the same type by mm-hmm. changing the values so if you have done the practice of that particular question you will be able to do it quickly in the exam so practice okay, helps a lot yeah. fine so you uh, you had those practice sessions in the uh, last five months right Yeah, uh, the full syllabus mm-hmm. test was in the last five months. Uh, mm-hmm. Apart from that, I used to uh, refer to any book, uh, mm-hmm. not for reading but for questions. Okay, fine. Did you uh, refer to those big fat books? <laughs> no, no. I won't no name them, books. but <laughs> no, there was no fat books. There used to be DPPs um, in which only questions were there. Theory was completely from NCERT and notes. Okay, so besides this academics, what are your interests as a hobby? Is like uh, you go for? Actually, uh, I used to go for swimming. I have played the nationals also uh, in swimming, so yeah. that used to be a great hobby. Apart from that, uh, I used to play badminton, basketball. So I was more yeah. into the outdoor sports rather than mm-hmm. the uh, mobile phone games. So mm-hmm. talking to friends, talking to family. Actually, I was in dairy, so I used to uh, converse with my family on the phone. So mm-hmm. these were all the hobbies. So. Who do you credit most with your success? <laughs> there is nothing most i think uh, the family does play a very important role and we cannot take the credit away from the teachers who have um, done ha- all the hard work with me and my friends also who have always kept me motivated so okay, the credit goes always, to all how what is the importance of that circle in uh, around you the circle, circle is very important uh, uh, there can be two types one uh, who motivate you and one who say rehna de bhai kya karna hai agli baar karenge so uh, you need to choose your circle accordingly which circle you want okay, and kehte hain ki you are the average of uh, five people around you <laughs> yeah so you have to choose those five people correctly right mm-hmm. uh, so uh, fine so tanmay uh, what are you now since you have qualified this exam uh, you have topped it and now you have your choice wherever you want to go Uh, so, where are you? Like, what what was your preference to go where? Uh, so now my preference would be uh, Ames Delhi. Okay, fine. So uh, would you be like serving in Delhi? आप वहीं जा रहे हो सर्व करने के लिए हमें वापस यहाँ तो नहीं आओगे ना? अरे नहीं नहीं वापस जम्मू ही आना मैंने. ठीक ठीक. So you'll be back. Yeah. Fine. Sure. I wish you uh, all the best for uh, your future journey. i wish you all the best uh, for your future exams it's really great uh, when someone uh, from your uh, 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 region qualifies it's actually the history you have created a history by becoming the first one to uh, top the exams uh, so we uh, we are again congratulating you and uh, we are really thank thankful you, to you for joining us for taking your precious time thank we're you we are again sir. congratulating take care take care tanmay thank you sir